After being traumatized by Outlast, I need this. Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and I'll be uncovering everything to know about the quarry before it's released tomorrow. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. There are 186 endings in Until Dawn's spiritual successor. The Quarry is an interactive and comedic story inspired by horror films in the 80s. Nine camp counselors were settling together for one last night by throwing a party after the campers had left. Hunting season had just begun, and they are the prey. You will play as the nine camp counselors. Choices will range from simple interactions like scarring your best friend for life, or death or life decisions permanently affecting the story's outcome. All I'm trying to do is help. But the last thing I want to do is take your choices from you. Like mine were taken from me. Some choices have immediate consequences while other choices will have repercussions later. While exploring various locations in Hackett's quarry, you can also uncover hidden clues and collectibles along the way to uncover the quarry secret. In a previous quarry video, I predicted the threat in the game to be Wendigos. Grace and Anton from their quarry podcast Bizarre and Bonafide happened to come across that theory before discovering a lead. One of you recommended me to listen to that podcast, so I did. After one month, hehe, <laughs> they talked about one teenage boy finding a woman's dead body in Hackett Woods in upstate New York. They suspected something to have eaten the woman as there were no remains of her body. This must be the lady in white Laura kept seeing in the woods. In the second episode, Grace came to a conclusion that something big attacked the victim, like Sasquatch, Wendigos, or aquatic beasts. It's a known fact that big feet are actually sexually attracted to cows. No way, I'm shutting this down. Bigfoot being sexually attracted to cows is where I draw the line. In the third episode, she and Anton mentioned two missing hikers, a man named Ed and a woman named Ann Radcliffe, the potential victim. A wildlife expert told them no animal could have attacked the hikers. Anton came to the conclusion that cannibal killers could have done this with the aid of cops. Sure, these two hikers did go missing nearby, and I'm prepared to believe there's the smallest chance the teen boy may have actually seen Anne's body, which would mean someone hid it afterwards. That's scary enough without the need for ghouls. It could have been Ed covering up the murder. Maybe the landowners are psycho cannibals that killed and ate both hikers. Maybe even the cops had something to do with it. We don't know. It's f***ed. In the fourth episode, Grace predicted that Anne was killed by a vengeful female ghost. The Ghostbusters weren't there when they needed them the most. In the fifth Quarry podcast episode, Grace goes to the Harbinger Motel without Anton and discovers something disturbing. She wanted to investigate the mysterious hack sightings in Hackett's Quarry. The clerk at the motel tells her that a traveling sideshow caught on fire causing everyone to die six years ago. Grace found the clerk creepy as he smiled with an evil glint, not talking about that event and acting like the landline is down. In the 30 minute demo, we saw Laura discover a sign featuring a sideshow act by Silas the Dog Boy. Silas the dog boy. Could this be the sideshow the clerk mentioned? Apparently, the fire occurred on private land owned by the same people who owned the woods. Strange. These people are recluses, but why do they own a summer camp full of children? Well, the killbillies who are blood-drenched locals, the staff at the Harbinger Motel, and possibly the cop Travis are kidnapping travelers to consume them and also feed them to the game's main animalistic threat. Anton was right about cannibal killers. Hearing the clerk's remark about the sideshow fire makes me think Think the sideshow members are not dead. In fact, I think they are part of the freak show, including Anne Radcliffe, who baits wanderers deeper into the forest. What? The sideshow is harboring something unnatural and is kidnapping people to feed it. That thing is what you predicted. Werewolves. I think our imagination. <laughs> It wouldn't be surprising to see them hiding among the freaks. Also, just like how Josh recreated the ghost scene in Until Dawn, the sideshow probably can do the same. This is my theory and we have yet to hear the last episode of the podcast. On another note, this game was designed to be a replayable cinematic experience with different character convos, relationship dynamics, and finales. Hollywood talent like Ariel Winter, Ted Raimi, Brenda Song, and David Arquette are cast in the game. If you watched the Scream movies, you would recognize David Arquette as the character Dewey.
The developer said the quarry is to be enjoyed in as many ways as possible, as we have freedom adjusting the gameplay settings like the length of decision times. I am very good with quick time events, so this game will be exciting to do. You can also enjoy the quarry with your friends. In online multiplayer mode, a host player can invite up to 7 friends to vote on an outcome together and shape the story. This game also has couch co-op mode where you assign each player to one or more counselors and never predict the choices your friend makes. If you just want to watch a good horror flick while munching on snacks, turn on movie mode to enjoy the story like a movie. In movie mode, there is also a director's chair setting where you can select a playable character's traits in the setting. Laura is in this case adept in stressful situations. You will never know what to expect. Lastly, this game is 10 hours long, less if you try to kill your characters. Are you excited for the quarry tomorrow? Comment down your thoughts on the game. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to join the family, and let me know what you think in the comments. How will you play the quarry? And will you save all the characters? Thank you for watching, and that's all. Great, I died. Bummer. Maybe you'll be in the sequel? It's not a movie!